All right, guys, today we're gonna do something different. Today we're gonna go ahead and put on some custom side skirts. For the Scion TC2, there aren't very many options. You know, you have just your basic side skirts, but lately you've seen a couple of guys with that additional side skirt, so it's like an extension. Well, to figure that out, you have to figure out your wheelbase. So your wheelbase, you can pretty much look for any car that's a 106.3 inches. That's 106.3 inches. So what I've done is I went and found that Mercedes puts out a really cool one. It's off the CLA 250, and it's uh, exactly 106.3 inches. So what I did is I went ahead and ordered it. But of course, they're not going to fit on directly. So what we're wanting to do is custom uh, tailor, I guess you could say, put them on. And so what we do is we're going to test fit today, and we're going to actually do some trimming so that way they can be ready to rock and roll uh, to the paint shop. So, let's see how this goes. Now what I did like about the seller is that they actually came primered already. So of course they come in your standard ABS plastic black. This is, a, they also mark your right and left hand side. This is your bottom side, where this is going to be on the actual top towards the body. So, what's nice about it is, is they already put the adhesive promoter and then your standard primer, so it's pretty much ready just to go to the paint shop, just like that. So when I found out that Mercedes has a 106.3 inches, I saw the side skirt. Let me show you how well it actually matches up. See, so on length, you can actually like, is right on it. So it's almost as if I could pull off the side skirt and put this one on, but of course, since the body lines are different, it's not gonna work the same way. So what I actually have to do is trim this top end so that this face sits flush with this actual side skirt. And so once it's painted black, it's gonna look like one united piece, okay? So let's start measuring out and see how I'm gonna get this cut. So what I need to do is figure out where to cut here so that way it sits flush up against the body here. And so my biggest like guess is I'm gonna take this line here and cut this entire lip off here first and that way I can actually trim further and further. So it's better to take small little steps and just cut the whole thing all off, assuming that it's going to be flushed up against the, the face of the, the body of the car. So we're going to do this piece and then slowly start trimming this. So let's get this done. Okay guys, so we've actually taken the time to set this up. I clamped these down so that way it doesn't actually move when I'm cutting. Uh, stay nice and sturdy. So let's get some cutting done. So of course what you want to do is make sure you have protective eyewear when you're doing this. This actually will spit up the, the plastic. You don't want to get that in your eye. Luckily I have glasses so that helps me out. So just make sure to wear your protective eyewear. Okay. So we used the Dremel halfway through and we actually found that using a hacksaw blade, of course, it's up to you if you want to take this route. This is the route that we just found that it was easiest to make a nice clean line. The, uh, the Dremel was heating up the plastic and it was just making a mess. So we found that using a hot hacksaw blade actually made a nice clean line. I was able to control the line a little better. And so we took it off that lip and we found that we needed to take it all the way to the face of the actual side skirt. So what we did was we cut this first section out. So what I'm doing is, is I'm nicely brazing up against the inside like so to follow the line and then I'll go and clean it up with some sandpaper and it'll make a real nice clean flush fit. So we're gonna do that all the way through and to both side skirts. All right, so by running the blade, getting a nice smooth, clean finish compared to using a Dremel. So what I'm doing is, is I'm letting the blade rest up against the back and it's giving me a guide so that way it cuts all nicely along that line. I put the tape just to protect the plastic even though it's on the inside. It's just me being OCD. So we went ahead and finished the trimming and uh, it fits really well. Like if you actually see, come close. So by cutting it, all we got to do is a nice double sided sticky tape and it sits real nice and flush along the entire way. Of course, we'll just have to make some adjustments, some sanding right here to straighten out these lines. And I'm going to put like a, one of those fender rubbers right in between so it's, it, got, it has a cleaner look. But if you follow it all the way through, 
it actually sits pretty flushed and so uh, I'm pretty happy with the results like I said I'm just gonna clean this up with some sandpaper make it real nice and smooth send it off to paint Alright guys, so I went ahead and test fitted the fender flares along with the side skirts. It looks pretty cool. It's, it's pretty much what I expected. I'm still debating whether to stick to these clinched universal fender flares or test fitting on some FRS Rocket Bunny flares. You know what? You help me out. Let me know what you think. Make some comments below. Tell me if I should try out the FRS kit. I'll buy it. Let's try it out, you know? If not, I'll go ahead and stick with these clinched fender flares, mold them a little to the car since they can be heated and molded. And we'll go from there but for sure sticking with the side skirts but it's all up to you guys give me some pointers thanks